Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Natty. And today I am entering my 18th week of pregnancy. And I am going to talk about the items that saved my life during my first trimester. The reason I needed these things to save my life is basically because I have been so sick with this baby. I have been throwing up. My headaches are crazy. My dizziness is crazy. Everything in my hormones and my body are out of control. Thankfully, for the past three weeks, I have been fine. But from week six to about, to about week 15, I was miserable. And these things saved me. So every morning when I would wake up, I would feel so sick to my stomach. I would get up and feel like throwing up, but I didn't have anything in my stomach, so I couldn't get anything out. What, what would help me is having a glass or half a glass of this juice or pineapple juice, anything with, with something sweet would help my tummy so much. And normally, I'm not a juice person. Um, I don't normally drink it, but it literally helped me. Another thing that would uh, that would help me whenever I had, I had a really bad stomach ache was sparkling water. I needed sparkling water every single day and everyone in my house knew it. My kids knew it, my husband knew it. Whenever I was running to the toilet, my kids would come and be like, are you okay? And they'll bring me some sparkling water with the straw. It was so cute. And whenever I would see my husband drinking the sparkly water, I would kind of give him the side eye like, what are you doing? Those are mine. And he wouldn't get it, but whatever. He knows now. Also, ginger turmeric tea. So good. So good for my tummy. It saved me. It helped me so much. So those are the things that would help me with stomach aches. Um, as far as eating, I could not, I could not hold anything down. I normally eat really big meals, and I couldn't do that anymore. I couldn't handle it. Anything that I would eat would go out. Even if it was fruit, it would go out. So I would have to eat small portions of just little things, uh, healthy items that would not uh, make me run to the toilet right away. So I would have these bars. They are almond uh, cocoa butter bars. They're so yummy. Um, they have peanut butter filling and it's really good. I would eat either eat these and another um, bar that I don't have right now with you so I can't show you. And then I would eat these uh, date and nut bites. They're these little bites, super tiny, healthy, but it would keep me at least a little full for like 30 minutes or so. I would also have fruit, uh, baby carrots, yogurts. These were my two favorite yogurts. They still are. I snack on them every here and there and they would keep me full for about an hour. Other than that, I would just have fruit. I would have nuts. Um, and that's all I could really eat in the morning. I would have either oatmeal or cereal, and I would have a little salads. I would make smoothies almost every day, and that's all I could eat because I couldn't hold anything down, and I'm so glad to be out of that stage because now I'm back to my old self for now, and I am eating everything that I want to eat. Yesterday I had pizza with wings. The other day we had tostadas and tacos. I'm back to my self who eats whatever she wants. Hopefully it stays that way. And when they say that every pregnancy is different, they really mean it because I have never experienced this with my past three pregnancies. I mean, I was sick here and there, a little headache here and there, uh, maybe once a week or so, but this was almost every day. It was ridiculous and thank God that my kids were on summer break because I don't think I would have been able to drop them off and pick them up from school every day. It was like miserable for me. I mean, I did have to take them to their extracurricular activities, swimming, singing lessons, this and that, 
but those were like a little bit later in the day so i was able to do that but if i had to wake up or not wake up because i would still wake up but if i had to actually get up and put regular clothes on at eight in the morning and drop them off it, it wouldn't have happened i would have been crying my eyes out that's how bad it was you guys and i'm like i said i'm so happy to like be out of that stage and hopefully the nausea the nausea does not return um but we'll see how the rest of the pregnancy goes so far so good for now for the past the three weeks so those are the items that helped me if you have any other recommendations on what helped your morning sickness your i don't know why they call it morning sickness when it freaking lasts all damn day well if you have any items that helped your sickness leave it in the comments below let me know let others know but that's what helped me well thank you guys for watching if you like the video give it a like if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe thanks for watching guys see you later